Hi everyone. I know it's very hard to practice right now with your friends with all the restrictions that have been going on. And so today, I want to be able to show you guys my play that I've been practicing even during COVID. So now we're going to be doing the Euro step that I like to do during the game and it's not really the traditional Euro step that you see but rather um, a fast slow movement almost like a jump to the second step and then a layup so there are two points two main points that you have to think about when you make the move the first point is that you have to create a short step short first step to deceive your opponent into thinking that you're going this way and then the next point is that you make a long kind of like a jump step to the other side like this so that you leave your defender and then just go for the finish and also you have to understand you also have to think about looking at the rim while you're making the second step so that the other opponent will think that you're gonna shoot but then you're gonna go for another step around him and then that's when you shoot the ball so that's it let's try to do the euro step the non-traditional way Um, I've been doing the Euro step ever since I was a kid when I started out playing basketball because those are one of the first moves that my dad taught me and I think over time I just tried to develop and work on it um, every time I can. So um, I think what I do now is the finished product of years and years of doing the Euro step. So it may not be easy at first, but you know, uh, it's just the start. Um, you just got to do reps polish and make it effective during the game. Okay, so this next move, I'd like to call it the step side. Um, one of my biggest idols, Mike James, likes to do this. Therefore, I like to do this as well, especially if I, uh, I think there's a big guy who's guarding me. And there are two points to the step side. The first one is to catch your defender relaxing. So you kind of want to get a little high when you're dribbling, but at the same time at a good height, not too high, not too low. So relax, catch him, stand up a little bit. And then when you get him standing up, that's when you pick up your dribble and then push off with your left, uh, your left leg. So that's the second point. And then I like to go to the side, so I push off with my left to the side and then make that shot. So that's the step side and let's get started. Uh, this step back, or which what I like to do is kind of like a step side, is a move by one of my favorite players, uh, who's Mike James. And ever since I was watching him play, and that's his like signature move. So I also figured out that you know why not make it my first my uh, favorite move as well. So I just worked on it and worked on it until I was able to use it during the games. This is all for today's lecture. There were a lot of challenges, but I've been trying to get better, to be able to play better against my rivals by having the necessary skills for overcoming difficult times.